So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about, this is the big question I want you to be thinking about throughout, this, throughout today, is what do aerospace engineers then have to think about to make sure that their designs on their, because they're gonna be designing spacecrafts, um, are appropriate for their destination. Well, where are spacecrafts going? Mars. Maybe Mars. Where else might spacecrafts go? Ava? To space, right? What are aerospace engineers doing? Matthew? From the, from the word space, engineer, and what I heard from the story, uh -huh. I think they're like our designers to help build the rocket and, and creators for the rocket too. Okay, so you're talking about a spacecraft and, and then they build aircraft, okay? So that's the other thing is building, we're gonna write building aircraft. So we're gonna be thinking about an aerospace engineer, thinking about how they would think. We're making spacecraft is what we're gonna be going through in our minds. And we're gonna go through some of the steps of the engineering process today. We're gonna be looking at some of the planets, okay? But I have some sheets up here, and this is giving you guys the information, but we have all of these in order, and there's a lot of information on here, okay? And so we have to make sense of some of this information today because you're gonna be doing some investigating and using this to come up with your own spacecraft, okay? We're gonna talk together as a group about the moon, but then you guys are gonna break into groups and you're gonna each have a planet. Your groups are gonna work on a planet. What do you think we need to know about the celestial bodies? What are some of the things we might need to know if we haven't been there, or we have before, but we need to um, build something to go there? What is it? What do you think we need to know about them? What do you think, Owen? Um, you go to make sure it's probably safe. What do you mean by safe? Like, study it from not going. Okay, so Study it from not going. What do we need to know about a plant, though, in order for it to know if it's safe? What does that mean? Sydney? Like, make sure it's not too hot or too cold. So we need to know a temperature. What else do you think we need to know, Dallas? Atmosphere. What do we need to know about the atmosphere, though? What's in it? What's in it? Okay, is it? That's good, Harrison. Is it, is it something we can breathe in? What is it made of? You, with your aerospace engineer hats on today, when you're coming up with your, we asked, we've been asking this whole time, Logan, okay? And you're gonna start now, what's that next part? Once we start asking imagine. questions, we're gonna imagine, and we're gonna be imagining what is our design, what do we need to design for our given planet? So together we're gonna do the moon, okay? Yeah. So on the moon, there's no atmosphere, Okay, so keep that in mind. There's no atmosphere on the moon. On the other planets that you're going to be doing, there's atmosphere. Is the size important? Is the temperature important? Atmosphere, surface, location, is there something else that's important? And you're going to decide that in your groups, okay? What are the things you want to focus on? And then why those features were important. Should our spacecraft be unmanned or manned? Yeah. Then here's the hammer. 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 Why would are oh, you trying the, to go rover? Oh yeah, that robot that went to Mars. I think scientists should make a kind of machine that will go onto planets and go into each one of their cores and take pictures to make sure they have one. Yeah, so they should have like a big drill in them. Yeah. Temperature is important. Yeah, on Mercury it can get up to eight hundred Fahrenheit. That's a lot. Yeah, so we should probably, so, so location location. will probably be a location. So we should location. Why are these special body features important? So we're not designing it. It's probably we because they could freeze or overheat and they could suffocate because of yeah. the temperatures. You no, no. picture. Is it hot in Mars? No. Let's look. But I think it should be a circle so it'll roll down easier yeah. and get back up. <laughs> Because if it was a square, it had to slide. Yeah. No, so I was circle, thinking that. No, down. I was or thinking that it could be square, but have a little window, like, and then a ro circle rover so, could go in. Okay. So, I'm gonna have a person from each group just stand up and share. We're doing about a two-minute share, and I will. I'm gonna cut you off at two minutes. I'm. I am impressed, though. You guys are really thinking hard about this. Um. So. 
we're doing Mercury and we did um, an unmanned spacecraft where um, it has antennas, cameras, and um, like shovels. So it would be landed on um, Mercury and it would dig down into um, next to the core and make sure and see if there's one there. Okay. And if there was, it would take pictures and we have um, really big antennas on it so um, we could get connection. What happened with your designs as you were being allowed to just really imagine and be creative with it? How are some of the most important inventions created? By imagining them. By imagining them and just crazy outrageous ideas that many people wow. said there's no way that could work. Do you think everybody thought a person could go to the moon? No. No? What do you think that the, a lot of people probably told them? Justin? You can't do that. It's you, impossible. It's impossible. You can't do that. And so if they just said, okay, yeah, you're right, I'm going to stop, then we wouldn't have airplanes. We wouldn't, be, we wouldn't have been able to go up to space. So there's a lot of different things that are there because people do imagine all these possibilities and are brave enough to take that step. In lesson two, we took aerospace engineering a little deeper and um, we talked about atmosphere, we talked about planets. They had to look at um, like the size of the planet and they had to look at distance and all these different aspects of the planets. And it, it, was, it was a lot of thinking on that day um, for, for that lesson. I, I think it was good because it was able to, we were able to come back to that each day after to make the connections, especially talking about like atmosphere and stuff. So it gave them a context to connect it to.